Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna share with you my latest pickup. So, picked this up a few hours ago from my FFL. This is from Rock Island Armory, purchased at Center Fire Systems. Um, they were selling this for 189 ship plus they gave me a free hat for this um, it's called a Stratton campaign hat they said that this is a $30 value but the catch is you cannot choose your size so this uh, is small for me I don't know what I'm gonna do with this but it's free okay so let's look at the gun it's the M200 series revolver okay manual inspection certificate has the spent brass okay actually why is it it has two okay yeah, that's two sprint brass casings, okay? And gun grease, wow, okay? okay? And I was surprised to see that it comes with an extra grips, okay? I didn't know that because I've seen other YouTube uh, unboxing videos of this gun the M206 and none of them has this that's why I, I ordered uh, ahead of time from eBay uh, replacement grips but I don't know if I'm gonna use this okay and here is the gun still greasy okay let's wipe it clean first here she is Uh, let's check the weight. This is heavier than the other revolvers For me, it's a good thing because it will handle the recoil well, so it says one pound and 8.3 ounces Let's check the trigger pull double action It says 10 pounds, double action, single action, single action is 6 pounds, okay, but I think I can mod it to lighten the trigger. But it's not that bad. It's crisp. Single action. Okay. In addition, um, I tried the HKS 10 A speed loader. It works with uh, Rock Island M206 and it also works with my EAA Vindicator. Okay? Six rounds. So they're both six, ra six round uh, revolvers. Let's take a closer look at the gun. First off, um, the grips. This is wood. It looks and feels uh, like a classic revolver. Okay. Yeah, because initially I plan on changing the grips, but it looks um, classic. But anyhow, I'm gonna test the 
grips that I bought all together with the uh, stock replacement grips on my future videos maybe on my shooting videos but for now yeah, it looks like a detective's gun well it is patterned after the called detective and the finish not the best parkerized finish and it has some play okay but what do you expect for a $189 gun plus this gun has good reviews so I'm excited to try it on the range and I think the manual states that it's not suited for plus P ammunition but I saw some videos on YouTube using plus P's uh, with no problems so look at the barrel okay front side blade type can be improved by luminous paint and the sights at the back and the hammer okay you push you push this out or pull this to release the to release the cylinder so it's a small package with six rounds unlike regular revolvers like the Taurus only has only five rounds okay and best of all that's why this is one of the reasons why I want to add this to my collection it is made in the Philippines okay particularly in Marikina I know that place I've been there okay, I have friends living there so it's a good conversation piece aside from the fact that uh, majority of the reviews that I've seen online uh, is saying that this is a reliable gun not the most beautiful but they say that this goes bang every time you pull the trigger so for the price that I paid for it I'm very happy I'm gonna test it myself look at that looks classic the metal use feels pretty solid okay look at the grips like it So aside from the free hat, I noticed that the case that it comes with, I don't know if it matters to you, but it, it feels pretty sturdy. I, I did a lot of unboxing videos. Some of them are flimsy, but this feels pretty sturdy. And since this is my only dedicated 38 special revolver I just found out that you cannot even insert uh, a 357 uh, ammunition so this is a 357 and this is a 38 special I know why would you do that but but I just wanted to know if it will fit no it won't because uh, like I said it, they said that it's not advice advisable for you to use plus piece but people are using plus piece but with the 357 so this is a 38 special and this is a 357 see it will not even go all the way so just in case you're curious okay it will, it will not go all the way in Oh 
Okay, so if you're looking for an entry level revolver, even a truck gun or a stash gun, something that you will not cry over if it's stolen in uh, your car or your truck. Take a look at the Rock Island Armory M206. There you go. Watch out for my shooting videos and mods to this gun. For now, this has been my prepper. Thanks for watching, guys.